Second option, I go there again. We're doing technique, guys. First day I'm learning. Take the leg out, but now, because of his hips, I'm not able to, to go over his leg. Right, so now I can't go over his leg. So first thing I have to worry about it is to him bring back his hook. I don't want this. Once it's out, it's out, I don't want it. I bring my knee in, I frame with my arm. I don't want this leg over. Second thing, now I can't go this way. I'm gonna try to go to the other way. Remember when I was talking about the knees, that when he puts the hook, the knees stay outside? So my first thing here, I wanna push his knee inside. Why I wanna push his knee inside? Because if his knee is inside, it's hard to bring the other hook back. Even without blocking. And then even if he goes, go there, there's no resistance because his hips is still Look, his knee is facing the other way. So I'm blocking here. I wanna push this knee inside. I can push with my arm with, or with my hand, mostly with my arm. Now I wanna get up on my elbow here. Elbow. Right, keep tight there, the seat belt. Yes, thank you, man. Turn it this way, just so you can see. Yes. Keep tight, I'm pushing his knee in, I don't want this, I'm on my own. Now I want to straight this arm on the mat. Guys, it's, it's uh, the detail here is a bit, not hard, but uh, a lot of people have a hard time to do it. I don't want your face go to the mat. I don't want you bend this arm. So this arm, you go straight, stiff, right, and stays here. My elbow is down, my arm is stiff. Now, I manage myself to go on my knees, right? So, I'm doing this. Look, I go to my knees. If Matt came up on top of me, yeah, come on. Yeah, just one hook, just one hook. You didn't have both hooks. Get the seatbelt. Tight, tight seatbelt, right? Remember, I'm pushing his knee. He's already falling down, right? My resistance is towards him. I'm here. Right, so my next step is my right shoulder. I can even trap with my leg. So my right shoulder comes in. This hand never comes up, I'm tall. I get the underhook, I'm in the half guard. Most of the times when I go to my knee, like Matt did at first, I escape right there because I cannot fall on, onto my back. So, hooks in, sit belt, heel, I can't push, protect myself, push the knee, go to my elbow, hand stiff, you can be far, and then I turn into my knee. Look, I'm already pushing his knee, and push this hand into him, and my shoulders come on his belly there. Until I remove my arm, come all the way to the other side, I'm in a half guard. Right guys, one more time. Home. Hooks, cat, protect, push, elbow, hand. What's gonna happen? I see a lot of people do the technique, they go like this. So here, if I go and Matt stands on my back, it's super hard to drag him all the way up. So I do not bend my arm, even if I have to be far. And then my legs go to the knee. Look, boom, push the knee, my hand comes. Shoulder comes to the other side. Right, guys, let's try it.